Good morning, children. So, in the previous lecture, we had done till question number 13. So, now let us do question number 14. And before we see the solution, let us see what does this question say. Okay. So, here question number 14 says, A cylinder is inscribed in a sphere of a radius A. So, there is a sphere whose radius is A. So, this radius A is fixed. So, A is a constant over here. Show that if the volume of the cylinder is V, then v is equal to 2 pi r square into square root of a square minus r square where r is the radius of the base of the cylinder hence find number one the height of the cylinder when the volume of v is maximum and two the value of the maximum volume okay so here we have got a sphere whose radius is a and we have to find the height of the cylinder okay the cylinder which is inscribed in that sphere okay and we have to find that maximum volume of that cylinder okay so here what we have to do is we have to write the expression of the volume of the cylinder okay in terms of a single variable and we have to differentiate it and we have to find for which value of that particular uh, for which particular value of that variable the volume is maximum okay so let us see the solution first so here i have taken a sphere okay whose radius is a so here a is fixed is a constant okay and i have taken radius of this cylinder to be r and this height i am denoting by h okay and when you join the center of this top and bottom You'll find that this line okay or you can say this axis will pass through the center of the sphere okay so i have denoted that center to be o okay this as b this as a okay and this ob i have taken to be x so you can make out that this ob is x that means from here till here is also x so therefore height will be 2x yes h will be 2x so from the figure h is 2x okay and if you use pythagoras theorem okay so by that value of x will be a square root a square minus r square so in place of x i can write this okay so h is equal to 2 times square root of a square minus r square done now next is we know that volume of a cylinder is given by this formula pi r square h so in place of h i can write this okay so the first part is done for us okay in question it has said that if volume of the cylinder is denoted by v then v will be 2 pi r square into square root of a square minus r square yes next what we have to do is we have to find the height okay of the cylinder when the volume is maximum and the maximum volume okay so here if you see this expression v you have already got this expression in terms of r okay but the thing is differentiation will be a bit uh, complicated type okay so what I will do is instead of writing this volume in terms of R, I will try to write this volume in terms of H, okay, and then I'll differentiate. So we can also write volume in terms of H. So from figure, okay, from figure you can see that R square plus X square equal to A square, okay. So R square is equal to this and X square means what here mm -hmm. value of x is nothing but half of h you can find from here x is nothing but half of h so that's why i have replaced this x x by h by 2 so i got h square upon 4 i simplified it so i got r square is equal to 4 a square minus h square upon 4 okay so i got this r square in terms of h so 
v is equal to pi r square h so in place of r square i can write 4 a square minus h square upon 4 okay so i got this now if you see now differentiation will be easy for us because here it's free from that square root okay if you would have used this still you would have got the answer okay but the only thing is differentiation will become little complicated okay because here square root is involved so some part will come inside uh, under this denominator also okay so but here differentiation is very easy for you okay so now we can differentiate this v with respect to h so i will get pi by 4 in bracket 4a square minus 3h square okay so this is first derivative now for maximum and minimum value the first derivative should be equal to 0 so i put equal to 0 okay and then solved it so i got h is equal to 2a upon root 3 okay now from denominator i i'm going to remove this root 3 so i will rationalize it so i get 2 times root 3a upon 3 now next is you have to find the second derivative so whatever you had got in the first derivative differentiate that again with respect to h so you will get your second derivative so your second derivative is this pi upon 4 into 0 minus 6h that means minus 6 pi h upon 4 so here you got your second derivative now what you have to do is you have to find the value of second derivative for h equal to 2 root 3a upon 3 so for h equal to 2 root 3a upon 3 in this second derivative wherever you see h replace that by 2 root 3a upon 3 so you can see that here a is there it's a radius so positive value 2 root 3 upon 3 positive value 6 pi upon 4 positive value and this minus sign is there so in total this is less than 0 so here for h equal to 2 root 3 into a upon 3 the second derivative is coming less than 0 that means volume will be maximum when uh, when h is 2 into root 3 a upon 3 okay thus v is maximum when h is this okay but in this question they had also asked us to find the maximum volume so volume is given by pi r square h okay so equal to pi here value of r square already here we had found that okay r square we can write in this form yes so that's why in place of r square we have written this into h now what we can do is we can replace this h by this 2 root 3 into a upon 3 so replace that simplify it and at the end you get 4 into root 3 upon 9 into pi a cube okay so this is the solution for this question number 14 now let us see question number 15 so question number 15 Here it says that an open tank with a square base of side x meters and vertical height h meters is to be constructed so as to contain c cubic meters of water. So we have to construct an open tank whose base is a square of side x and height is h. Okay. And that should contain c cubic meters of water so volume of that tank should be c okay cubic meters show that the expenses on lining the inside of the tank with lead would be least if h is equal to x upon 2 okay so here they are saying that expenses on lining the inside of the tank okay should be least okay so here when we are talking about lining inside that means we are talking about the surface area in surface area of this inside portion yes 
so if the if there would be less surface area then automatically that expenses would be less yes so in this case what you have to do is we have to frame an expression for the surface area of this inner one okay in inner of the inner side of this tank okay and we have to see for what value okay of h that surface area is minimum okay so let us see the solution so here this is the open tank okay here base is a square of side x meter and height is h okay and volume should be c now what we have to do is we have to show that when h is equal to x by 2 then expenses of on the lining okay inside the tank would be least so inside the tank that means we are uh, talking about the surface area okay so let's see so volume v will be given by what length into breadth into height so here you can see x into x into h so you'll get x square h so volume comes x square h inner surface area let us denote by s so inner surface area means what you have to consider the surface area of this base bottom so surface area of this bottom will be what x square x into x then we have to consider the surface area of these four walls okay so here surface area <coughs> inner surface area will be x square so this x is x square is for this base okay plus four times x into h so this surface area is for the four walls okay so total inner surface area x square plus 4x h now here you can see that inner surface area right now it's written in terms of x and h so there are two variables yes and we have to minimize what the surface area so we should have the expression of surface area in terms of single variable so either you write this in terms of x or h okay so what i will do is i will try writing this expression in terms of x okay so in place of h okay i can replace this h by v upon x square and this has come from here okay getting it because here volume is fixed actually i should have used c over here okay because in question it's given volume is c meter cube anyway here v is constant okay so here i got v upon x square simplify it i get x square plus 4v upon x so now you can see that this surface area is written in terms of single variable x and now we have to see for what value of x this surface area will be minimum so for that you have to find the first derivative so first derivative will be 2x minus 4v upon x square okay now you can find second derivative also okay so second derivative you have to differentiate this again so you get the second derivative 2 plus 8v upon x cube but for maximum and minimum value this first derivative should be equal to zero okay so we know for maximum or minimum first derivative should be equal to zero so 2x minus 4v upon x square equal to 0. So simplify it. So you get 2v equal to x cube. That means x is equal to in bracket 2v to the power 1 by 3. That means cube root of 2v. So here now what we'll do is we will find the second derivative for x equal to 2v to the power 1 by 3. So here this is your second derivative. So wherever you have x you replace that by this 2v to the power 1 by 3. So here we get 2 plus 8v upon 2v to the power 1 by 3 to the whole power 3. So I get 2 plus 8v upon 2v, vv cancel. So here 8 by 2 that means 4 plus 2, 6 and 6 is greater than 0. So that means this s, okay, surface area will be minimum, okay, for x equal to 2v to the power 3, okay. So thus s is minimum for x equal to 2v to the power 1 by 3 
now when x is this okay so what should be the value of h so let us find so here in this we have got v so we know that what is the value of v over here value of v is x square h okay so replace this v by x square h so we get 2 into x square h to the whole power 1 by 3 okay so we get 2x square h we are taking cube both the sides okay so we got x cube equal to 2x square into h so here x square and here x cube so x square can be cancelled this side yes so we are left with x equal to 2h that means h is equal to x by 2 so we have been able to show that okay that s will be minimum when h is x by 2 okay so obviously when surface area is minimum then expenses will be also least so expenses will be least when h is equal to x by 2 so this is proved next question is question number 17 so let us see what does it say so question number 17 1 yes 71 so here show that among the rectangles of a given perimeter the square has the greatest area so here it says that suppose you have been given a rectangle okay suppose you have been given a rectangle whose perimeter is known to you okay then you have to show that that rectangle will have maximum or greatest area only if that rectangle is a square okay so here in this case the square has the greatest area so greatest means maximum area so here we are talking about maximum area of this rectangle okay so we have to frame the expression for area okay in terms of a single variable okay so here 17 1 let us take a rectangle okay whose length is x breadth is y so area will be x into y okay so we have we are talking about maximum area okay so that means we have to differentiate a okay with respect to a variable but right now if you see a is x into y it involves two variables okay so anyhow if anyhow you have to manage to write this area in terms of single variable okay and in order to do that the perimeter of that rectangle will help you because already they are saying that perimeter of that rectangle is given to you yes so let p be, be the fixed perimeter okay so perimeter is given and that is fixed so i am denoting that perimeter by p so let the perimeter be p so perimeter is given by two times length plus breadth so i get p equal to 2 into x plus y so that's uh, so i get x plus y equal to p by 2 okay then value of y is equal to p upon 2 minus x okay so here this is the area and i am i need to write this in terms of a single variable okay that means if i have to replace this y okay by an expression which should involve only or i have to write this y in terms of x only so here you can see that i am i am able to write this y in terms of x only okay so in place of y over here i can write p upon 2 minus x okay so next area a equal to x into y can be written as x into p by 2 upon uh, p by 2 minus x simplify this you get px upon 2 minus x square so now you have the area in terms of a single variable and we are to um, here in the question also we are supposed to find the maximum of area only yes so differentiate it with respect to x so you get p upon 2 minus 2x okay 
now we know that for maximum or minimum this first derivative should be equal to zero so put this equal to zero then find the value of x so value of x comes p by 4 now next find the second derivative so for second derivative differentiate this again so you'll get minus 2 so minus 2 is less than 0 and clearly this is free from x so so that means this area a is maximum when x is equal to p by 4 so if x is p by 4 okay then y will be p by 2 minus p by 4 yes from here okay so you get p by 4 so here x is also p by 4 y is also p by 4 that means length length equal to breadth that implies that rectangle is nothing but a square okay so for a given perimeter okay the square has the greatest area okay now let us see the next question 17 2 so here 17 2 a rectangle is given whose area is constant so you have got a rectangle whose area is constant prove that prove that the sum of the lengths of its sides is least when it is a square okay so here rectangle is there whose area is given so it's constant fixed for us now we have to show that if the sum of the lengths of the sides is least in that case that rectangle is nothing but a square okay so they might instead of writing the sum of lengths they might also say that the perimeter is least okay when this when it is square okay because perimeter is what two times the sum of the length okay so let us see the solution so here i have taken a rectangle whose length is x breadth is y let a be the fixed area okay because here they are saying that area is given to us so area is a constant over here so a this capital letter a will be constant for us so a equal to x into y so y is equal to a upon x okay in this question they are talking about the sum will be uh, sum of the lengths of the sides will be least okay so actually i actually i was supposed to write only uh, some of the lengths okay but here i took the perimeter so when you're copying the question okay so you just change the question right prove that perimeter is least when it is a square okay so here perimeter p i'm denoting perimeter by p will be given by two times x plus y okay so this implies p equal to 2 into x plus a upon x because in i uh, y can be written in terms of x okay so i got this p now we are talking about list okay we are talking about perimeter to be list so we'll differentiate this p with respect to x so after differentiating we get this now for maximum and minimum the first first derivative should be equal to zero so put this equal to zero now solve it and you get x equal to root a here i'm not taking minus okay because area will be positive only yes so x equal to root a next we'll find the second derivative so second derivative comes this 2 into 2a upon x cube okay now we will find the second derivative for x equal to root a okay so wherever we have got x we'll replace that x by root a so when we solve this okay obviously this is greater than zero okay that means this p is least or minimum when x is equal to root a thus p is least or minimum for x equal to root a so y will be equal to a upon x so x is root a so a upon root a you rationalize it so you get root a so clearly you can see that x is equal to y so that means clearly p is least or minimum when the rectangle is square so 
make sure that when you're copying this question here you make the change okay prove that the perimeter is list when it is a square okay so this is all for this lecture